Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to give you a bit of a showcase of all of the Lawton and Horn bits that I have. Now if you don't know, Lawton and Horn are a wonderful um, leather goods company, I think is the best way to describe them. It's run by Jenny and Oliver who um, live here in the UK and they just make wonderful, wonderful bits and bobs out of leather. <laughs> um, you can tell this isn't scripted. They, they just make like just, just such good quality stuff and I am very fortunate that Jenny has over the past few years sent me some of their amazing um, products. I've bought some myself as well and I just have a nice collection of their bits and I just thought I would do a video to show you what I've got, show you what I use, show you what I want to use because I've got some bits that I don't actually use that often or at all and I really want to use them. I've got bits that I use for when I travel and I haven't really travelled much since Covid for a number of different reasons. I'm hoping that next year, 2024, I'm going to go on lots of international trips so I can start using some of my bits again because they've got these wonderful travel wallets um, which I have used um, many times and I'll pop some pictures um, on the screen so you can see um, some of the pictures I took when I was in America with the travel wallets and probably some other places as well I'll have to go and dig back through my Instagram and find some of the pictures but their stuff is just lovely so I thought what I'd do is I'll do a bit of a showcase like this and then I'll change the camera angle to above so that you can really see the detail and the different kind of elements of each piece. Um, I do have a rucksack as well, I probably won't do that from above but I'll show you, um, I'll do my best to kind of show you on, on the camera here. So let's get stuck into it, let me get all the bits. So I've got everything together. This is my wonderful Lawton and Horn stack. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Like, it's just majestic is actually the word I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna just like hold it up because honestly it's so beautiful. Okay, before I change the camera angle, um, I'll just get this beauty up. Might have to go back a little bit. So this is, um, the Lawton and Horn, I want to say Napa backpack. I'm now going to go and fact check that quickly. Yes, yeah, so it's the black Napa backpack. And this is just, again, I mean, it's quite big. Um, it's full of, uh, I went and did a house set um, a couple of weekends ago and it's got lots of my supplies in it for my arts and crafts. Um, so, I mean, Maybe I'll do a separate video on this with a different angle entirely. But as you can see, it's got lots of different um, compartments and this like opens all the way out. I put my laptop in the back there. Um, they all, the compartments open like really wide. So you can get everything in there. Well, you can see that I've got my, my uh, what that's what I film my handwritten notes with and my little mini watercolours and I've got my paints all in here so it's still full as you can see I haven't done any watercolouring since I went back I am looking forward to cosy nights in here I think with candles lit and it dark outside and like painting and just music on I'm looking forward to that I feel like this this space is like I'm loving it and also we've put a shelf up up there but it needs a bit more reinforcement because we put some plants on it and it nearly fell off because um, we just put it up with what it came with um, and it's like a floating shelf so we're gonna buy some more brackets to put up um, anyway what was I saying this space is is I'm in love with it absolutely in love with it but it gets so hot and we've had like a heat wave this past week it gets so hot in here and it's it's too hot I can't actually work in here when it's that hot so I'm actually looking forward to like autumn winter spring months very much being spent in here when it's not so hot um 
and definitely like autumn winter cozy nights blanket music candles really looking forward to that and i feel like i'll have more inspiration to share more videos with you when i feel like this space is designed for those months anyway that aside oh uh, maybe i'll do a separate video on this but this backpack is fab i take it whenever i need a lot of space usually when i need my laptop and i need like notepads and all sorts of things this comes with me um so yeah it's fantastic it's nice and big so i'll do a separate video on that one i think so we'll pop that down there so yeah i'm gonna show you each of these uh things and then i'll do an above um i think we'll see we'll see we'll see if we need the above right so we've got see this is i've used this i'm going to do them in order of how i just showed them to you because then that was a nice stack this is actually matt so i actually bought this for matt but let's be real i've commandeered it but it's for when we go like on holiday so he has his own little travel wallet and at the moment it's got yeah see look our ticket from gatwick to la what year was it doesn't actually have the year it just has the 27th of september so that must have been 2019 i think we went to la it's a boarding card and my one so yeah so some boarding cards there and business cards and things but actually this one is actually empty at the moment so yeah, maybe I'll just show you like this. Maybe I don't need to do it from above. I'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so it's just got loads of cool compartments. This is good for like cables. You can used to be good before AirPods came about. You could loop your um, your headphones through there, but obviously with AirPods now, so that's good for like a charging cable. You've got loads of little spots for because this this is. This is built as a travel wallet, this one. But it can be used for whatever you want it to be. Um, but, yeah, it's got lots of space. You can tuck a journal in there, like a traveller's notebook would fit in there nicely. I actually don't have any traveller's notebooks. I think I'm going to get myself some. And then it's got a little zip area. Um, and just, you know, you could put your phone in there. Probably not with the case on, because this is like a really rubbery... <laughs> A really rubbery case but actually it does fit in there so you could put that in there but the case i'd have to take the case off because it's like one of those really rubbery sticky cases and um, a spot for your pen and i know that jenny has redesigned some of these so um i don't think i've actually got any of them but the redesigned ones have got like lots of spaces for pens and stuff um so yeah so that's i think that's a, a small an extra small uh travel wallet that is what that's called this is um one of the newer pieces and i have shared this in a reel and in a short so this is the um notebook cover or journal cover whatever you want to call it try and get a close up there and you can just see i didn't actually do that with the other one um it's got a nice bit of elastic there and then you can just what's what's beautiful about this is that i've actually got um let me take this out i made myself a little um a5 watercolor journal to go in there i just basically folded up some a5 uh, not a5 sorry a4 watercolor paper and then i stitched it i don't know if the camera's going to focus yeah see look terrible i can't get that to go tight for some reason um and then i hand stitched it all the way along it's not the best craftsmanship but hey it was my first time ever doing it and i'm quite chuffed with how it's come out um and i painted this on there already moody sky um and i'm probably just going to fill it with loads of loads of paintings like that because i quite like doing those ones but anyway back to the journal cover um so this is it without anything in it um and essentially you can fit any sort of a5 journal inside there so i don't know if i've got any to my side no i haven't i haven't got any but 
trust me when I say and I know that Jenny's listed out what will fit inside the different ones because so it comes in an A5 and it also comes in a, a traveler's notebook so it's like, like a slim one um but I'm really chuffed that I've made this to go inside because my journal is in this which is from can't remember the name but it's from Etsy I've shared it before but this so this is a journal cover sorry just sidetracking from Lawton and Horn just for a second this is a journal cover from Etsy I will link it in the description because I can't remember what it's called um, and this is a B6 or a B5 oh god look, I can't remember okay I will link it all in the description <laughs> I've shared about it before but this is my wonderful i've got my watercolor journal in here and actually i'm really chuffed with that um because that's something i don't have so now now i'm just trying to fit it in and that fits really nicely in there I'm going to need to just adjust it slightly. There you go. You can see it fits lovely in there. But like I said, there's a list on the website, on the Lawton & Hall website, of all the different journals. But essentially anything that's A5, that's not got too much of a rigid um, cover, will go in there. Because you've got the little flaps, basically, that the cover goes, the cover then sits inside there. Okay. I've upset the status quo of this because this was this was going really nice and now I've I've done something. I'm not quite sure what. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I'd put it in properly. It's all flustered because I'm on film. So this is the A5 uh, notebook cover or journal cover, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think on the website it's notebook cover, but I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm making another little pile over here, but it's on a pile of stuff already. So let's just move that. So this, so this is my um travel wallet this is the one that i shared some photos of earlier um it's got a lovely pocket on the front my one's got a little clip on it that i've just had on there forever i just love the leather i love it i love it i love it i love it do you know what's just happened I used this when I went to Croatia last year. I won't bore you with the story, but we were meant to be going for four nights and our flight got canceled and we had a 23 hour delay. We ended up going, but we were only there for three nights. I took this with me because I was traveling out of the country and look what I've just found. Some money. It's Euros though, I think, no it's not. It's Kuna. That's Kuna, and then I've got Euros, but I think Croatia's just changed to Euros now, so that Kuna will not be relevant. So I've got loads of random bits in here. I've got all my receipts because we got uh, delayed. I've got a five pound gesture voucher, which is rubbish. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I'm just taking everything out so you can so I can show you this. The mum in me, I've got all my plasters in there, never travel without plasters. There's actually some coins, oh wow, just found some English money as well. Just checking what's in here. Okay, so similar to the, I think that's elephant grey is what that colour is. I have to look up what these ones are. I think they're just tan. Um, so, as I've shown you, this is the inside. <laughs> Hello. This is the inside. Um, there's some coins, there's a little space for coins in here. As you can hear, I've got some coins in there. Um, do that up. There's just so much 
space for activities essentially there's a zip here so you can keep money or whatever you want in there I don't think I've got any more money hidden I think I've found all the money uh, again you've got a love, another little clippy bit for whatever you want a pen holder you've got some nice deep pockets so what I tend to do is I tend to have my passport in one of these when I travel because I predominantly use this one for traveling um, I have my boarding card in the front um, like this <laughs> I don't back to front so then it's you know it's there although let's be real these days everything's on our phone isn't it so I basically just try to have everything in here that I need when I'm at the airport when I'm traveling um, money plasters uh, usually actually I have some antihistamine in here um, my cards if I need my cards and just it's just a, a one-stop shop and that's what I really like about it and actually you can you know if you're taking a, a pocket um, journal away with you you can take it in there you can put your pen in there and you can have it all in one space um, and I really like that that's I'm, I'm a big fan I'm a big fan so that's the I think it might be a medium I'm not sure I might be getting the sizes wrong but it's a traveler's wallet that one and then this one this one I got in the lucky dip sale so this is like a wider version of the traveler's wallet as you can see it's like about one and a half one and a bit bigger it's wider and kind of shorter in size um, again it's got that front pocket on it which is fab and then inside I've actually got a journal in this one um, not that I've used it but um, this is again there's so much space for activities this could be something that you take away with you or you just have if you're going out somewhere and you want to take a journal you want to take some this is perfect like the little spots here for um, you know you could fill it with let me show you for example I don't know some bits you know some bits that you want to take um, for journaling for creative journaling say I'm gonna just fill it up with bits you could just fill it up with I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do it now but you get what I mean there's lots of little holes and, and pockets and stuff that you can fill up and as this space becomes more of a creative space I'm actually really looking forward to using these more and I think that's why I said like some of these I'm not using at the moment but that's because I haven't figured out exactly what I want to use them for like that's why I was really chuffed about the A5 uh, journal cover notebook cover because I created a little book to go in there create a little journal to go in there so now it has its own purpose and um, for some of these I'm, I'm not sure I just got excited when Jenny had the lucky dip sale um, and you just kind of got sent a surprise and this was one of the things that I got sent so chuffed with that uh, we've got two more bits to go right so this is also something from the new collection I feel like I've got something inside there but I don't know what it is oh it's my rubber so this is the pouch this I mean I love it all I probably I just I love it all but this I think is my favorite item it's so simple but it's so effective so it's essentially I think it, it's a bit bigger than a5 yeah it's bigger than a5 but it's a pouch right and this is perfect if you're heading out and you just want to take a few bits with you maybe you want to put it in your bag maybe you just want to carry it with you I see this as something that you might take to a park bench and do some journaling with or to the beach or a field or you're just going somewhere and you just want to take your essential bits. Now what I put in here and which I will show you, so I have my journal, we load it up. So the journal goes in, so this may be when the overhead camera might have been better but here we are, my Kindle. 
which I am a big fan of by the way, I didn't think I would be. One of my Sweeby pens. Mm, what else? I've got my phone in there. AirPods. And then we just close it with the little and there I just it's just wonderful I just hold it like a baby <laughs> it's just fab like it's perfect it's perfect like if you're traveling as well you maybe would have this again I'm all about like having things in one place so maybe in your bag you'd have this and you'd have this and that's it I mean, okay, you might need a little bit, little makeup bag or something, little bit of, you know, cosmetics or whatever. Um, but, you know, you're laughing with these two. You've got so much room to play with. So this I'm a huge fan of. Jenny, you've outdone yourself here. I love it. I love this. Um, it's just so simple, but so effective. And I think that's a big thing in life, being simple and effective. So that's my fave the pouch and then last but finally not least I have this one and this one was also from the lucky dip this is a big big one. this is the big of the biggest of the bunch apart from the bag um and again this is I guess a wallet of some description and this one has got I've got a, a uh, oh I haven't been let me just slide it back in because I had a journal in here that I was using and I've obviously slid it out for some reason. <clears throat> so this is just a, a journal from TK Maxx that I have been writing in but you can't see. <laughs> I promise. You get it. <laughs> um, so that fits nicely in there. That is, that is in there. It's, the back cover is hooked in. Um, and then probably better off I'll show you that way yeah it's hooked in there sorry this is and then it's the cover is slid in there and again got space for cards this one I would fill with all with like stickers and cuttings and all of those sorts of things and then there's space over here for pens, again, you've got the, the clippy thing here, so you could put pens in there, you could put your favourite pens, or you could put cables in if you're going somewhere where you might need some charging cables. Space here, again, another zippy. Um, you know, just, just absolutely wonderful. Again, I mean, you might say I'm biased, but I just really love it. I've always been a fan of good quality leather goods. Um, I've got a pencil case somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it is. I think I lent it to Matt actually. Um, I got that from Etsy. Etsy's good as well for, for leather goods. Um, I've got a few little like good quality bits and bobs that I use. You know, they're, they're my staples really. And it goes without saying that all the Lawton and Horn bits are staples in my life especially these two new bits so if you haven't already go and check them out if you've enjoyed this video um, it's quite a long one but I think it's very important to showcase the beautiful leather goods for what they are because they are they're absolutely wonderful <laughs> I just sound really biased but I am and I just think they're great so go and give them some love check out their Instagram I'll link everything in the description box below I'll link all the items go and check out their Instagram go and check out their website go and give them some love because they're just fab people um, creating fab products and just you know doing doing good in the world creating some goodness um, so yeah that is it i think i think i've shown you everything i need to show you i think i'll do a separate video i lied at the start when i said i was going to change the camera angle because i didn't think i need to i just wasn't sure if you'd want to see me the whole time but hey here we are i've got my hair wash hair on my head 
actually really warm now um so it's been fabulous hanging out with you i hope you've enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if you've had fun um also let me know of any other leather goods brands that um i might not know about um and that you want to share and i'm also going to do some more videos i think on my sweebies i want to do like a swatch of all the ink but obviously i've got six inks and three pens so i'm gonna have to figure that the best way out to do that um but i will see you around very soon i know i need to do a tour of this room as well i think i'm just gonna wait until we've finished the shelf and then maybe i'll give you a proper tour so my loves i hope you have a wonderful day wonderful morning evening afternoon whatever time of day it is that you're watching and I'll see you again very soon.